Hello, and welcome to another exciting Breakfast with Unity. I'm your host, Scary Metallic Dragon. Woo! Anyway, uh, I'm just starting the show off this way because I made this thing yesterday. This is on the, uh, if you want to see how I made this little guy, he's on the Cooking with Unity uh, um, Super Repo. So if you subscribe to us on uh, Patreon, you get access to how this, this guy works. But he, he really just detects my voice, and I've got Leap Motion support, so if you have a Leap Motion, this will just work. If you don't have a Leap Motion, it'll still run and everything. You don't need to have one. Uh, but yeah, I, it's pretty fun to play with. So uh, this is what I'm going to be going as for Halloween. I'm going to be projecting this guy on my wall. So anyway, let's get on with the show. Actually, let's quit this. All right. Took me right back to Unity. That's awesome. So what are we going to be doing? Hopefully that came through live. I'm um, not sure how well, considering all of the particle effects in the background, I might have been unhappy with the encoding. So, on our last episode, we set up an interact system, and today we're going to use it uh, to uh, interact with a little uh, fake screen to see what a security camera is seeing. Um, oh, it's loading right now. Uh, so we, we set up to use the uh, uh, Unity GUI, and the first time you instantiate the Unity GUI, there's a long pause. If you, if you notice a long pause in your game, um, when you first see a GUI element sh show up, uh, just uh, just instantiate something sooner in your game <laughs> that has it. So this is, uh, we have a button, we can hit, hit it, yay, it does things. So uh, I'm just going to duplicate this project again, we're just going to, I'm just going to get, just duplicate the scene at least. And we're going to call this um, camera switch. And uh, let's create a new folder for it too. Folder... 19 camera switch and we'll throw it in its own layer there we go so we're going to switch over to camera switch and it's the same project again we just have this button here so uh what i'm going to replace it with is uh we're going to have a little uh little fake tv screen thing so i'm going to um create a um let's see what's a useful thing for this probably yeah let's use a sprite no, let's not use a sprite. Let's use a quad. There we go. So, we've got this quad. Um, I'm just going to very quickly make it look kind of like something. Um, so, we used a noise particle at some point. Where is our noise texture? Is it in here? No. Uh, particle glow. Fun with built-in shaders. There it is, noise. So, um, but this is set up as a, uh, as a normal map. I'm just going to duplicate it, and I'm going to move it into our uh, camera switch folder, and we're going to call this noise. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. It can be called the same thing. Um, I'm going to switch this to texture, so it just looks like a noise thing, and hit apply. So now you'll see that it just looks like some static. Uh, so this will be kind of a dark screen, unfortunately, but, uh, but it'll work. So I'm just going to um, throw this on here and see where it puts my texture. There it is. Yeah, that's really dark, isn't it? Um, let's uh, change the uh, rendering on this a little bit. So we're going to... Uh, so we created this noise shader automatically. It showed up in materials here because we just dragged it in. That's what happens. And uh, we're just going to set this to unlit texture so at least we can see the static a little bit better. And we're going to use the other another script that we already have, which is the uh, random texture offset. And I'm just going to apply this to our quad. We're going to random texture offset and um, what is this going to do we're just going to apply it to oh wait this uh, really shouldn't go on the quad it'll work in this case though typically you want to put this in a centralized location it, it actually doesn't matter um, but um, you you can basically get away with just having one random texture offset in your whole scene and it'll apply to any textures that you do or any materials that you do um, this will be the only one. We're just going to put it on the quad here. Um, so we'll put the noise material in here. And in this case, we want to do uh, main text to get the main texture. The Unity documentation has the names for these things. So um, if we hit play right now, we should see... Yep, it looks like static. It's just very, very, very hard to see. I, I doubt it'll even come up on... on uh, I, I kind of want to make that a little bit brighter, actually. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. This is just a prop anyway. So I'm going to take this quad. We're going to put it where the button is. I'm just going to child it to the button for right now to get it over there. 
zero, zero, zero. So there it is. And I'm gonna make it a little bit out from the wall so that it doesn't clip with things. And we're gonna get rid of our uh, button. Delete the button. Whoops, that was the wrong thing. Oh yeah, it was the right thing. It's just, I childed it. So delete the button. And, um, and what are we going to do? So we've got this thing. We're going to put this in our interactable layer, interact layer, so that we can interact with it. And um, and so right now, if we go up to it, we can run up to this thing, and it'll say press to interact. You can see that there's a little bit of uh, texture there. And if we hit a button, it says send message interact has no receiver because we haven't set that up. So I'm going to set up a little security camera now, too. We're just going to create a cube. This is going to be our camera. Uh, I'm just going to make it like 0.1. Actually, let's point. 0.2, 0.2, and um, 0.3. Is that a pretty good aspect? Yeah, let's make it 0.35 and 0.15 and 1.5. There you go, that kind of looks like a camera. I'm going to, while we're here, I'm going to just call this um, security camera. And uh, we're gonna put a real camera inside of it. We're gonna just gonna go create, uh, what is it called? Camera, there it is. And we're gonna put this into the security camera. And we're gonna disable it for right now. Um, though I wanna actually put it uh, appropriately in the security camera. So zero, let's put all these back to one. And um, so where did that put this? That actually is probably perfect because you can see that the camera volume is in front of the camera. So, um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to um, grab this whole thing and rotate it around 180 and put it on the wall up here and angle it down like a security camera ought to be. So um, we're going to just angle this thing down. down. All right, and if we rotate on this, yeah, there, you get a nice little pan and scan there. So, whoops, so I'm just gonna set up a quick animation on this thing. So we're just going to um, go to Window, Animator. Oh, that's not what I wanted, I don't want an Animator, I wanted Animation. There's Animation. All right, and I'm just gonna dock this somewhere that's appropriate, let's do that. And uh, we're going to hit record on it. Call this cam uh, security camera save. And what we're going to do is we're going to set our first key keyframe, which is going to be on the. Whoops, that's not what we wanted to do. Um, first keyframe, which is on the left hand side. And then we will do the same thing a few seconds later on the right hand side. Let's, uh, two. Let's do three seconds and three seconds. So we do three seconds, and then we rotate this back to the other way, and then we do another three. Uh, whoops. Yeah, and then we just copy this frame, paste it in at six, wherever that is. I think that's right there. Yeah, six. Doesn't have to be perfect. So if we uh, play this now, we have a basic security camera animation. I think it'll probably pop at the, yeah, it does pop on the other side. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're not worried about the animation. So um, so what we're going to do now is um, we have this camera. Uh, I'm going to disable it. And um, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to create a new script called, it's going to be very similar to our um, toggle game objects on Interact. So I'm going to copy the, I'm going to duplicate this, Command D or Control D if you're on Windows. And we're going to call this, um, Switch camera. And get rid of this thing. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to am I still broadcasting? It looks like we're still uploading. Cool. Uh switch camera. And um so we just want a uh public camera um new camera. Active now false, we'll keep that. 
um, we toggle this and then what we do is um, if active now um, we do uh, new camera dot um, enabled okay yeah we could actually let's do it at that level so we're gonna actually have the game object on but we're gonna have the camera disabled so we'll disable the camera and um, and so new camera dot enabled um, equals true and um, camera dot main dot enabled equals false and then uh, else we just reverse the operation. All right, so false and true. Save. So if we uh, now go here, attach our switch camera script to our quad, if we can, did it compile? It did. All right, so why didn't it attach to our quad? I'm going to try it again. Switch camera on the quad. Thank you. And so now um, we give it the new camera, which is security camera. And if we hit play, so this isn't going to be a perfect solution, but if we go up here, press fire on the interact, we interact, and we can see our security camera. We can actually still move around and stuff, which leads to a small problem. When you're in the camera, um, if you uh, don't get near the interact, you can't interact again. So you have to actually go back to the security panel and interact. Oh, oh we had a problem. Null reference exception. What happened? Um, where's our camera? Did this thing not turn back on? It did not. It must have. Camera main enabled true. Huh. Weird. That's different. Oh. Wait, no. It should be able to find it, shouldn't it? If action now, let's try enabling the camera first in case it has to be on for some reason. That doesn't make sense, but this is actually not a problem I was expecting to run into, but uh, glad we did. Uh, fire one, fire one. No reference exception. So, where is this actually coming from? Camera.main.enabled. So, if if we disable the camera component somehow, somehow we can't grab it from main camera anymore. That's strange. Um, huh. I would have expected that to only be the case if we had actually disabled the camera. Let's do a little experiment real quick. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to, instead of doing camera main dot enabled, we will be doing it in the background, but uh, I guess it's not. Um, so find uh, oops, game object dot find game object with tag main camera. Where does it have a space in it? Inspector main camera. Yeah, no space. All right, so main camera um, dot get component um, camera dot dot enabled equals uh, false. So we're going to do it this way instead of this way. This is what I thought it was doing behind the scenes anyway, so this is a little weird that that, that wouldn't work. But maybe this won't work too, and, and there's actually a really legitimate reason, it's just morning. So let's find out. So save, and we hit play. And so we come in here, hit fire one, we're in it. Okay, it works. Weird, so somehow, so if your main camera is not enabled, that is annoying. Oh well. Um, so I guess you have to do that instead of using camera.main. Isn't that the whole point of camera.main? Is there another camera.main? Camera yeah, that's what it's called. So it won't grab it if it doesn't have an active camera component. All right, well something new that we've learned. 
So we hit fire one to interact and it comes back here. So what we could do is we could just quickly, um, uh, let's see, we'll just fix this quickly. Update, um, uh, public string, uh, escape key equals um, fire one. All right, we're going to do that, and um, so we're not, instead of doing active down equals not active now, we're going to do if, um, um, if active now does not uh, equals equals false. We'll do this. We'll just set it to true. Because we don't want to double enable it by interacting with it. So, um, and then an update we're just going to do if uh, um, input.get button down. Um, actually, we need if active now. Then we do this. And if input.get button down, uh, escape key. Okay. All right. So then we do um, active now equals false. And uh, let's do one more quick cleanup. What we're going to do is um, Oh, wait. First of all, we need to make sure that uh, this stuff happens, too. So, bam. And um, we don't really need this. We can reorganize this just slightly. I'm going to just put all this here. And we're going to get rid of this chunk of code here. And this should still work, although we've done a lot of changes, so it wouldn't surprise me if something broke. And, um... Is there anything else? Oh yeah, I wanted to do a little quick uh, fancy thing. Um, I wanted to make this thing not interactable. Can we change layers easily? Oh, maybe not. Let's not worry about that aspect today. So, we're just going to do this and see how it works. Press fire 1 to interact is cool. I no longer can interact, so I'm, I'm moving around. If I hit fire 1 again, we did not get through this. We also have two audio listeners. Let's clean that up real quick. So on the second camera, well, actually, oh, I see that to be enabled separately. Eh. So security camera without audio. They're common, right? Probably not these days. Um, so why didn't it get us out of there? Um, I didn't save this. That's why I didn't get us out of there. All right. Interact. Now I'm going to look away. I'm going to move around. Interact. Yay. It works. And then it doesn't work. It does. All right. Where's my... Uh... Can we see my laser effect from this cam camera? Yeah, oh, barely. It's very light, just like it should be. That's actually awesome. All right, cool. So that's how you set up a camera. Glad that you uh, watched us. And uh, so uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please email me, pushypixels at pushypixels.com. You can also tweet me at Drakfire. We are on Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N uh, dot com and slash Cooking with Unity. Um, pledge something and you get access to the Cooking with Unity Super Repo. It has that thing that I'm doing for Halloween and it has a little DLL file that might be useful for Unity 5.0 folks. So, um, and it will have more as time progresses. So, so if you subscribe, you get access to that and we'll probably have more goodies for you later too. Thank you for joining us. You guys have a great morning, great night, and we'll see you, uh, oh yeah, we'll see you tonight with, um, another episode. Well, probably not going to go fight, go right. Probably going to do another Unity 5.0. I want to see what their networking system looks like. So, anyway, we're going to play around with the networking on Unity 5.0, I'm pretty sure is what we're going to be doing tonight. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great one.